Children under the age of five are very prone to getting ear infections, and they're usually secondary to um, viral or bacterial infections that started as like a cold or something, and then it can turn into a middle ear infection. If a child has a lot of them, or if they're just chronic, then it can cause a buildup of fluid in the middle ear, and this makes it hard for the child to hear, which affects speech and learning and school performance, and of course hearing. So. If your child has had repeat infections, then the doctor may recommend ear tubes, and this helps to, to drain the fluid in the middle ear and prevent more infections from happening in the future. It's a very routine procedure performed a lot of times each day all over the United States, and it's usually done under general anesthesia. The surgeon will put a tiny little tube, which can either be short-term or long-term, into the eardrum, and it allows, allows passage of air between the outside world and the middle ear. And again, this helps to reduce the chance of getting repeat ear infections in the future. If you have more specific questions about the procedure or about general anesthesia, talk with your doctor and they'll be able to tell you more about it and give you tailored advice based on their knowledge of your circumstances and exactly what they're going to do for you or your child. If you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.